Good evening, everyone. I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes tonight about people who choose to be herbalist, or I would, that's not the correct term, medicine men and medicine women. And the reason why I wanted to talk about that is today I actually watched some of the other channels. Uh, quite a few of y'all will share those with me, some of the different videos. And I try to not watch them because I want to do my own thing so that it's very true and not a copycat. And the thing that I saw was that all of these different videos by people that one would call medicine women and medicine men, these are people that care greatly for others and want to share their knowledge with others. And they're doing it because they they know how important this knowledge is, plant medicine and how to heal yourself, how to live off the land, how to be self-sufficient. And I was thinking about this for the fact that today, well, last night actually, uh, I looked up some of the certifications that one would would get to be have some sort of certificate or license in herbal medicine because I do want to know more and I want to know all of it as much as I can. But then as I was looking, you know, it's very expensive and I know that my daughter paid a great deal of money to get her uh, license in herbal medicine and you know that's a person will do that and sometimes it doesn't always you know you can't necessarily translate that out to real life as far as um how do you, how do you use it i mean it's great if you work in an environment where they require you for a license or you know that it's specific it's very specific and then uh, I went in to look at, you know, just the various levels and things. And even the lowest levels is very, very expensive. So I've been looking at um, some of the YouTube videos on their actual, like, classes. They're, they're people that are sharing their knowledge. And I would encourage y'all to do that. And the thing that I really saw about these other YouTubers that have, I guess you'd say, herbal-centered channels, is that they want so badly to share their knowledge, and it's because they care for people. And they really are passionate about this, and and they want this knowledge to be shared before they pass on. That's certainly why I do it, is because... When I say things like, eat the dandelions in your yard, and people look at me like I'm crazy. But at one time, that was, that was standard. You did that. You went out and you gathered dandelions out of your yard to eat. This has been something throughout time. And now it's been lost. It's been tossed away. It hadn't necessarily been lost. It's been hidden purposefully. And so I wanted to say that it takes a great deal of intuition. I, I'm at a loss for words. I, I've just kind of jumped into this. Every one of these people have some sort of sense about the earth and about the plants. And I think that is actually more common than, than we think it is. I, I know I certainly hear that from messages from you guys and comments in, your, in the threads and stuff. Y'all are really trying very hard to learn for yourselves and to educate yourselves. And I know that I want to help that continue, but I see that in these other channels as well. 
And to me, that's what real medicine men and medicine women are, is people that care so much about others that they want to share something that is much more beneficial to you than these these man-made chemicals that have assaulted our world and our bodies and our, our livelihoods. And so I wanted to say to those of you out there, find you a channel that you like or several and go back and forth on it and compare notes. And then when you get done comparing notes between those people, Start looking that information up for yourselves. Um, look it up through a search engine. Go to Wikipedia. My goodness, Wikipedia is wonderful. And, and start learning these things because there's really just a handful when you compare when you compare it to the channels that are about other things. There's just, there's just a few really on herbs. You've got to seek it out. You've got to be searching for it to find it. So learn these things. Learn how to prepare your own uh, plant medicines. Uh, learn how to do the tinctures. If, if it's nothing more than pulling up the plant, stuffing them in a jar and filling it with vodka, that's a big step, y'all. That's a huge step. If it's nothing more than pulling them up and drying them, think about that. You you pinch off these plants, you remove their leaves, and you just dry it. And then you take those dried things and you make a tea out of it, or any numerous things. Just think about that. It's not the, the very complicated apothecary stuff, although it can get to that. But think about the simplest element of gathering these plants and fixing something for yourself in the event that I, I'm going to tell y'all, I've been sick this last weekend. I had an upper respiratory infection. And yes, I, I treated it very heavily with the wild lettuce, with mullein, and with usnea. Now, that was all antiviral anti-inflammation, antibiotic, um, antispasmodic, because this was in my lungs. And so I, I treated it very heavily, and it is not the immediate effect of, of the, chem, the man's chemical medicines. It has taken me a few days longer, and the rain has been what has really caused it. It's the humidity promotes bacterial growth. And that's what this was, was a bacterial infection. But I'm better, and I'm, I'm going to keep getting better. But with that kind of thing, you don't feel like going out and foraging. I haven't been foraging. I've been tired. It's been raining. I've been staying inside and taking care of myself. And that's important because I've still got a lot of sharing to do with you guys. And so that's why I want y'all to have these medicines on hand and to learn about them so that you fix it for yourself. When you have an upper respiratory infection, you've got a jar of mullein or wild lettuce or usnea that's right there. And there are other things too. I'm not limited to that. There's the elderberry. There's ginseng. There's, there's uh, ginger. There's all kinds of things. I want y'all to have these things close at hand because I don't have anybody to drive me to the doctor. And when you're sick, you don't feel like driving yourself. So I don't have anybody to fix me soup or, or take my temperature. I've got, I've got to do it myself. And I know that a lot of y'all are in the same position. So I want y'all to start getting you some herbs in your house. If you've got to order it off of Etsy, that is absolutely fine. Or Amazon, that is absolutely fine. There's loose leaf everywhere. Y'all get you a stash of it and have it there for when you need it because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow and you don't know what's going to happen this afternoon. Don't know what's going to happen tonight. But keep these things on hand so that you can take care of yourself if need be. 
So I've got one minute left, and so I'm going to say thank you all out there for being such wonderful subscribers. And I, I appreciate y'all, and God bless you, and have a wonderful evening.